What is up guys, this is JDL Productions, and well, I just made a video of my Square D Early Guard EGD 4S, and well, I actually have another alarm to show you that I, uh, I this one I just got today, actually, um, unlike the EGD 4S that I got yesterday. Uh, this one I actually got today, and it is the Black & Decker Flame Buster Slimline SMK100. Now... There, this is probably going to be a bit of a shorter video because there's really not that much to say about this. It's a, it's a pretty basic unit. Um, uh, this is another one I got it off of, I got off of eBay. I actually got it for pretty cheap. Um, I believe I spent like fifteen dollars in total for it. So yeah, it it, it was a uh, it was a quite a bargain in terms of vintage smoke alarms. So uh, Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. So here is the box for it right here. Um, it's actually a very, very small box, um, as you can see compared to the size of my hand. Um, here is the back of the box right there. Um, if it'll focus, there's the back of the box. If you want to read anything, pause, of course. Uh, side of the box. Other side of the box, um, what else is there? Oh yeah, here's the uh, bottom of the box. And the top of the box. So, uh, yeah, that's the box. Um, here is the manual it came with. Um, right here, here's the manual. Uh, Black & Decker Flame Buster Slimline, model SMK100. Uh, I'll, once again, I'll read through this later, and it also came with this too. This is a, um, Black & Decker Consumer Information Department card. So, uh, I guess is I guess this is for, like, if you need to, you know, service or repair the thing. Although, I don't know why you need to service or repair this, but, uh, they still give you this anyway. So, uh, yeah. Now, a little bit of information about this unit. This particular one was... Made in 1989. Um, I read that date on the manual. This one is from 1989. Now, this is essentially uh, a FireX Model A with a different cover. Uh, here's the FireX. Here's the regular FireX Model A right here, as you can see. Uh, this is my 90s one. I also have a 2000s one, but it's basically this with a different cover. So uh, yeah, and it's sort of a square cover. It's actually kind of a cool design um here's the horn grill right here for some reason on the box it shows the horn grill without any um you know lines going over it or whatever the hell they're called um but uh yeah it's a it's a pretty cool unit um now it is pretty yellowed I, it was actually like that right when i just got it out of the right when i got it out of the box uh the plastic on these is actually very prone to yellowing i mean it pretty much yellows it yellows very easily over the slightest things um like it, it was in its box never been taken out and i take it out and it's yellowed but uh let's go ahead and take a back a uh, look at the back of the thing so here's the back of it um as you can see of course hang on let me move. um as you can see the back is pretty much identical to the back of the model a as you can see right there uh the bases are um yeah uh, here's the bracket. Let's go ahead and take it off. If I can. Mm. Alright, there we go. So, here is the back of the unit. There's the back label right there. It'll focus. Is it going to focus? There we go. There's the back label of it. Oh, wait. Okay, so this one's from 1990, actually. Um, it appears to be from March 8th of 1990. Um, or actually, what that might be is it might be like the 38th day of uh, of uh, 1990 or something like that. And I'm, I'm not totally sure yet. Probably like the 38th day of 1990. So... Uh, yeah, this one's from 1990, my bad. Yeah, usually the bo the date on the box is different from the date of the actual alarm. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty interesting unit. There's not much else to say about this. There are a couple other units uh, in Black & Decker's um, Flame Buster Slimline timeline. Uh, of course, they had the SMK300 that had the escape light, and then the SMK200 
which had an LED and uh, and uh, silencer. So uh, yeah, and these were made like slightly after the uh, the EI units, like the um, and, and the GE units, like uh. Yeah, so these were made slightly after um, these right here. Um, I need to zoom out a little. So these were made right after these right here. Pretty much went this to this and then to this right here. And then they also had another uh, EI-based unit around the same time. I guess these were basically, uh, the, the purpose of these was basically uh, the slim aspect of it because they did make another black and decker model around the same time the smk9 and then the um they had the silencer versions too which that were the smk25 and the smk30 i used to have an smk30 and i'm hoping i can find another one at some point or even an smk9 but uh yeah these to the side now uh, i'm not sure if i showed you this but when i got this thing the battery and it was actually extremely corroded i spent about 20 minutes trying to, to get the thing out and um unfortunately as you can see right there i'm not sure if you can tell but a large piece of the plastic like right next to the battery compartment here um i accidentally broke off trying to get the battery out of it um but it's not much of a concern i mean the mounting bracket still uh fits on pretty well i mean it's not like it's preventing the mounting bracket from fitting on and um battery still fits in. it doesn't doesn't really affect anything so uh yeah but it's been unfortunate that, that i did break a piece of plastic off of it trying to get the battery out um the plastic does appear to be pretty brittle on these things so uh yeah i really don't know what else there is to say let's go ahead and give this thing a test i'm gonna get my hair protection on my hearing protection on um i know it's a bit of a pussy thing to do this is just a piezo unit but uh i don't really care i like wearing ear protection i want to conserve my hearing um so yeah let's go ahead and give this thing a test uh-oh There we go. Kind of got it. All right. Well, that's probably all I'm going to do. Um, you know, I'll do it one more time. Okay. Only one beat. That's all you're going to give me. There we go. Uh, yeah, that test button's actually really hard to press down. I don't want to press it down too much because I'm scared I'm going to like break it or something because like I said, the plastic on these things seems to be extremely brittle. I mean, the thing, I mean, the plastic yellows as soon as I take it out of the box. So, uh, that must mean that the plastic these were made with isn't a very good plastic. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't know what else there is to say. That is the Black & Decker Flame Buster Slimline model SMK100. I'm going to, like sort of set everything out here. So, uh, yeah, that is about it.